Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton was born in a town in Britain and lived with his grandmother. Newton always fell into deep thought. He didn't play with his friends, and he spent all his time reading books or making new things. Huh? Why does the Earth move around the sun? Why does it rain, and why does the wind blow? When Newton was curious about something, he read books or kept thinking until he found an answer to his question. Newton entered a famous university called the University of Cambridge, where he studied math and science. He had to work at the same time to pay for the tuition fee, but he never stopped studying, no matter how tired he became. Then the university had to close down for a while because of a serious plague, and Newton returned to his hometown. One day. When he was thinking under an apple tree, an apple fell on the ground with a loud thud. Why does an apple fall from a tree? But why doesn't the moon fall? Newton thought about it for a long time and shouted, "Aha! The Earth must be pulling all the objects toward it." This was the moment Isaac Newton discovered gravity. There must be a force that pulls objects together, just like how the Earth is pulling the apple toward it. It is pulling the moon toward it. The sun must be pulling the Earth toward it, but the Earth moves around the sun without crashing into it because of an opposite force that's just as strong. When the university reopened its doors, Newton went back and amazed everyone by announcing the findings of his research. That's a valuable discovery. Newton is a great scientist. Newton became a professor at the age of twenty-seven, and he continued to spend all his time on research. I need an outstanding telescope to see the stars to discover the secrets of the universe. So Newton invented a reflecting telescope, which was much better than the other telescopes. It was by using this telescope that the astronomer Halley discovered Halley's comet. Newton became a member of the Royal Society in Britain, which only accepted outstanding scientists as its members. Newton continued his research and announced his results, but there were some scientists who refused to accept Newton's findings. But he didn't get discouraged and continued to present his discoveries, which unveiled the world's mysteries: the law of inertia, the law of motion, the law of action and reaction, and the law of gravity were presented by Newton. In 1727, Newton passed away at the age of 85, because of his outstanding research efforts. Other scientists were able to reveal many other secrets of the world afterward.